everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the puppet pin tools. Well, the three puppet pin tools. The, uh, the first one is the uh, starch pin tool and the overlap pin tool. The overlay. Uh, let me just get this image on screen. I made this in about two minutes, so don't judge me. It's just a random caterpillar that I wanted to use. Okay, so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab my puppet pin tool. Right now it's on the starch tool, so I'm just going to select that. I'm going to go down here and lay down a few points on my image. These will act as like hinges for when you want to adjust your image. You'll see in just a minute. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my cursor and I'll go and pull it up and you'll see that you can adjust your image accordingly. Um, it does sort of distort your image as you can see. It's not absolutely perfect but we're gonna go ahead and show what happens um if you go up to your effects you can turn on your transparency and i'll show you what is inside your mesh and what's not as you can see on my antenna of my capillar my mesh is kind of turning on and off so i'm going to go ahead and look at my triangles button under my mesh and i'm going to bring that up you can bring it up to i brought it up to 9 10 that's kind of a lot it might take a while to render i'll probably bring it down in a bit but as you can see Everything is inside my mesh and nothing's disappearing even when I turn on and off the transparency. So you're gonna to wanna to have to you're gonna to wanna to look at that. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my image. Um, I'm gonna look down there at deform. If you want to adjust any of these keyframes, if you wanna you probably wanna move it around and animate it, you can adjust it under the deform underneath the puppet effects and you can just click normal keyframes. I'm not going to be doing that for this one though. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and do that on your own. I'm just going to be showing you the tools a little bit. Um, anyway, I'm going to bring up my pins and you can see that there's a little bit of distortion right here underneath my caterpillar. and I want to get rid of that. I want to keep it pretty smooth. So what I'm going to have to do is get my starch tool out. Let me go ahead and bring the points back down. Go up here and select my starch tool. It's kind of like a little spray bottle. Um, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select around where it was distorting. And you'll see that it kind of gives you sort of a little uh, lightish blue triangular mesh. Um, you can connect all those together and you can select which parts you don't want to be distorted. But you might have to be a little bit careful because I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. And you see that the part that I selected is not distorted but the part on the sides are. You really have to play around with this a lot to find what you want. It's uh, it'll take some time, but after you get used to it, you'll start a uh, you'll start be able to grasp the whole concept of it. it just takes practice. Um, let me go ahead and add a few more and show you what it looks like. Uh, if I want to add some more smoothness to the sides of it, then I can just add more points, and I'll go ahead and lift that up for you. And you see it now, it just kind of pushes the distortion over to the sides. And it's probably picking the whole caterpillar thing probably wasn't the best decision, but I think you guys can really get the grasp of what I'm trying to show you. Anyway, oh, you can uh, go ahead and select your mesh and you can uh, delete your points. And as you delete your points, you can see the image will start to shift back to uh, where it was. That's really helpful. It's a nice little feature that it has. Anyway, yep, that's about that for the starch tool. Okay, so now I'm going to be going over the overlap tool. I'm going to pull up the tail, and as you can see, it doesn't really go in front of my body, and I might want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and select my overlap tool. I'm going to click my point right on my tail. Alright, so you go down here and you look underneath your mesh, under your puppet effects, and you have the overlap and if you drag the extent feature, um, you'll see this little sort of whitish triangular mesh show up over your overlap. And you'll see that that is what you actually want to overlap on your image. I know this probably isn't the best example for it, but I think you'll definitely get the gist of it. You can also affect your overlay over it, but I'm just going to go 50% because I think that's what, where it was at. Um... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my cursor, and when I drag it up, you'll see that the tail is actually over my body, which, if that's what you're going for, then 
there it is. <laughs> All right, so that's about it for the overlap tool. I want to, you know, sorry about the whole caterpillar thing. Probably should have picked a different type of image, but I think you got the gist of it. I uh, hope this helps you out with your current and future projects, and thanks for watching.